Did you know that there was one race that happened recently in Italy? This race was known as one of the most brutal 11 km races in history and it happens every single year in a small town off the coast of Italy. In this race, we had two athletes that I wanted to bring your attention towards. Firstly, we had Mukhtar Edris of Ethiopia, the 5000 meter world champion from 2017, and we also had Emil Caress of Great Britain. Now, at the early stages of this race, the home athlete went out. This athlete's name is Ioni. I hope I pronounced that right, and I'm definitely not going to try and pronounce the name of this race as I will definitely ruin it, but I'll leave a link down below and put the name of the race in the description just so you guys know. This race started off pretty fast, but when I say fast, I mean fast for the course. This course was unbelievably difficult and actually had athletes like Emil Caress and Mukhtar Edris barely breaking 3 minutes for their kilometer splits. This lap was 10 kilometers and around 64 meters. Each lap they did 10 times and it came out to around 11 kilometers. Now still by the 6 minute mark we had Ioni in the lead but he was being closely tracked by a Kenyan, an Ethiopian and a Mil Caress of Great Britain. I knew deep down that this guy was going to get swallowed up and probably chewed out the back of the pack because these were some big names. You don't mess with Mukhtar Edris and if you try and run away from him, good luck. Lord have mercy because this course was brutal. The incline of this course was so insane that I tried searching it up but couldn't find it anywhere. Just to give you an idea of how difficult this course was, like I said earlier, these athletes barely broke 3 minutes for their kilometer splits and that's saying something, considering Mukhtar Edris and Emil Caress have run some insane times. Eventually, at around the 10 minute mark, we saw the pack of 3 chasers eventually catch up to the leader. Ioni looked scared, he looked worried, but he was also a very good athlete himself. They went through the 3300 meter mark in just under 10 minutes. So to put this into perspective, they would have gone through the 3k mark in around 905 to 904. A very slow 3 km split for elite runners who can run 27 minute 10ks easily. Yeah. So still at this point, the Ioni leader managed to latch himself onto this group as now the Kenyan decided to take his turn on the front as we all now waited patiently for the first 5k split. At this point in the race, Mukta Edris was just clocking on behind the Kenyan, trying to do everything he could to match his stride and not let him get away from his grip. Emil Caress was in third place and they had now completely dropped Ioni, he was nowhere to be seen. At this point in the race they started lapping athletes and they were just really pushing on until an actual exciting move happened around the 21 minute mark by Emil Caress, who decided to put a surge in to try and break down the Kenyan and Mukhtar Edris. Now initially this surge did work but you'd have to be very hopeful to break Mukhtar Edris considering he's still in very good shape. He didn't have the best of Great North runs recently but still I think that's because of the humidity and heat and he did end up completely blowing up and having a huge positive split which was dreadful running. In this case the group managed to get back onto a meal and soon his surge wasn't really paying off very well. At this point he was now just tiring himself out up the hills and I truly believe that he could have won this race if he hadn't have done that. Now I'm not saying that somehow Emil's tactics were bad, he tried to break the athletes and he did it at a good time. At the 9002 meters mark they went through in 27 minutes 14 seconds so they were planning to go through the 10k in around about 30 and a half minutes or somewhere around about that. At this point in the race Emil Caress was doing most of the work as they now approached the 10k mark. 
At this point in the race, there was only around a kilometre and a half left to run, and still, it was anybody's game. I could see just the hurt on all of their faces, the pain and the struggle, as a Kenyan athlete decided to take one last go on the lead. It seemed to do well, but it managed to drop only a mil caress, with Mukhtar Edris basically tracking his every move and never letting the gap open to more than around 15 to 20 meters. I think at this point the Kenyan thought he'd actually won this race, but what happens next, no one really expected. At this point, Mukhtar catches up to the Kenyan and overtakes him with ease. Now they still had a couple of minutes left of running, but Mukhtar decided to now make his only and first aggressive move of this entire race. Eventually he came through, with around 400 meters left to run, he managed to overtake the Kenyan and go back into first place, running this race very smoothly and basically doing no work at the front. So in my opinion, Mukhtar ran one of the most tactically perfect races I've seen all this summer. As he came down for the finishing stretch, the locals cheered him on as he went through the finishing tape in a time of 33 minutes and 56 seconds. Now I don't know the exact distance of this course, but I've seen things online saying it's 11,000 meters on the dot, or that it is 11,200 meters on the dot, and I've also seen sources that just call it a 10k race, which seems a bit hard to believe, but either way, a 34 minute 10k would give you guys an idea of just how truly difficult this race is. One other thing I tried to look up, which I can't find, is the prize money of this race. For it to attract Mukhtar Edris and Emil Caress and other Kenyans and top level Italian athletes, it would have to have a good healthy amount of prize money, otherwise the athletes simply wouldn't turn up. I really think this event is very good, and at the end of this, the elite athletes were awarded with their medals, their checks, their prize funds, and some pretty cool ornaments and awards. This race has actually happened every year, I believe this year's was the 97th or 96th edition. It's happened most years with athletes like Yemen Cripper Racing and other Italian specials, but in this case we have to say that I've never really heard of this race until recently. So you guys, if you want to watch other races like this, where other channels probably won't cover this type of thing, then this is definitely the channel for you. I'll be doing my research and trying to find all the races that no one's really heard about but still has world level elite runners. Mukhtar Edris was more than happy to win this race, he went home with first place and flew back to Ethiopia where the hard training continues for the winter season. Now one thing we have coming up recently is going to be the Berlin Marathon in under 24 hours time. If you are not subscribed to this channel, you definitely need to hit subscribe now because I will be covering that race. In that race we have Jacob Kiplimo pacing and we have Elliot Kipchoge going for a marathon world record. Many people said in my last video they believe he can go sub 2 hours 1 minute which I think is very believable. A small handful of people did actually say that they believe he can go sub 2 and I am one of those people because let's be real you guys, Elliot used to have a PB of 205, now it's 201. I believe that at his whole time peak he could maybe slip under the 2 hour mark only if Jacob Kiplimo is pacing him. In this case, I'm looking forward to covering more races in the future, congratulations to Emil Caress, Mukhtar Edris and all athletes that took part in this race in Italy. I like the fact that this race was so unique and different, not only was it in the centre of a traditional Italian town, but the locals came out to cheer them on and it was pretty difficult to watch. In this case, I struggled to find the footage, but I managed to find it for you guys and bring you guys the content, so make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you're new here. This race looked pretty hilly, and I have to say that I wouldn't really want to do this myself, so I respect these athletes for doing a great job. Anyway you guys, thank you for watching today's video, this has been The Runner and I'm your host commentator. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for the Berlin Marathon. 
Let's all wish Ellie Kipchoge good luck and cross our fingers that he runs a world record time. I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.